All right, guys, today I've got a, got a little different project I have to work on. You know, I do all this work during the day, so I'm working by myself. I just, I run out of daylight hours. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm going to, I've added some, some lights to my mower. And I've gotta get these lights wired up. It's, I just don't have enough time during the day to, to get in mowing. I've got about six acres that I maintain mode out here so i need to get these lights light bars wired up and get everything set up so i can mow at night i can work during the day when it's sunny out and then i can mow after dark so that's the project for today is lights first thing we've got to do we've got to take this panel off so we can see where all the wires are and how the layout is already a switch for the lights but it's not it runs through the panel I don't want to use that first thing we want to do is start mounting all of our components switches relays whatever we got to mount so I found a spot for the relay on the inside it's away from everything I put a piece of tape over here so when I drill through it it won't scratch the outside and then I'll just bolt the relay on Try not to hit any wires on the back side. All right, now that we have our hole drilled, we can mount a relay where it's up inside here, out of the way. Next thing we gotta do is mount the switch. I think I'm gonna put my switch right here on the top. It comes with a its own little switch in the control panel, but I don't know what amperage that's rated for, and so I don't want to tie into this panel um, and end up, you know, burning something up. So I'll just run the switch that came with the little harness, drill my hole in here, and get it mounted, and then we'll start wiring stuff up.
bit snug. There we go. Now we've got our switch mounted. Okay, there's that. Zip tie all this back up, and we'll be done with this part. Okay, now that we've got our grommet installed, go ahead and try to run our wire. See if we can come down through this row bar with the wire. May have to run a string down through there and pull it. Okay, guys, that's got the whole thing wrapped up. Um, we've got we've got the one light mounted up top. We ran our wire into a grommet over here on the side of the roll bar. We came all the way out the bottom. It came out right here. And then we tied the light bar in the front and the light bar in the on top of the roll bar together. And right here on the inside is where we mounted our relay. There's our switch. And it's just tied into the battery. So I know it might seem like a useless project to most people. Most people mow during the day. But building a house by myself for the most part uh the barn i mean everything i'm doing out here i'm doing pretty much on my own so it's um takes all all the daylight hours uh, between working all day trying to edit video at night and you know there's just not a lot of time for anything so this way i can get out here and mow after dark these lights are really bright they're cheap ones um see there's you got one in the front down low and i've got the one up top so it should light up everything. We'll see tonight, because I'll come out here tonight and see what it looks like. Um, this, this should free up a lot of my time. It's, I've got about six acres that I keep mowed here. And that's, and that's a lot of work when you're trying to get everything else done too. So hopefully this will free up a little, a little daylight hours to work on stuff around here and I can mow in the dark. We'll see. We'll see how bright these lights are now. See if it's something we can use to mow with. Start this thing up. See what we got.
Well, there it is. $50 worth of lights and $20 worth of wire and harness. So I've got $70 in it, and now I can get out here and mow at night. Keep working during the day and mow out here at nighttime. That's gonna, that should save me a lot of, a lot of headache. So there you go.